Hey, welcome to my channel All Nails Everything. In this video, I will be trying out the Airbrush Gel Polish set, and this comes with thin 20 colors, and they are 8 milliliters, which means they're not a full size gel polish. So that's the packaging, it's very cute. It claims to have low smell, natural resin, and it's supposed to be not harmful to skin. And on the other side, it shows ingredients, um, recyclable, how long the product is supposed to last before it expires, etc. So I'm going to open the box, and as you can see, it comes well packaged. No colors are spelt, which is a good sign. So this is a pamphlet, but I'm going to skip that for now. So this is PO1. This is how small the gel polishes are. Also, it comes with a base coat and an enhanced base coat, which I don't know why, but if I find out, I will put it on the screen here. I would have to read the pamphlet to check. See, I looked at the back, read the ingredients, and basically it's the same ingredients. And then I decided it's a couple of color and the same ingredients, which I find to be very sketch because I know there are no pigments in the base top, the base nor the top coat, but I don't know why they did that. But if I do, I will link it there on the screen. So let's get into this watching video. Okay, starting, we are starting with PO1. And it did say the rule before you use. So that is what I'm doing. And I put this airbrick um, background so that the white, so you can see the white clearly. So I didn't load too much onto my brush here. So that's why it's applying like that. Um, also, if you see some texture on the nail, it's because I did fill these nails and that's why so yeah that was my fault so so far the number one is pigmented by that first view you can see that that was a very thin coat and that applied very pigmented so this is pure tool and this is kind of watery um it's not so bad it's beautiful it's a beautiful color easy to apply so far on the nail but the true test is when you put it on in a nail enhancement or your natural nails so I did put the blue glove behind it so you guys can see how pigmented it is. And so far it's not really pigmented because you still saw the strikes in the nail. This is PO3. This is a very beautiful yellow color. Um, yeah, this is gorgeous. Beautiful. Applied sweet. Again, I'll put my blue glove behind the nail so you guys can see that you know you will need a second coat. This is pure four. This color is gorgeous. This is very beautiful. A very beautiful nudish, pinkish, grayish color. <laughs> but it is pigmented. Um, but I know people say, you know, some of these you can get away with one coat. I believe so far, all of them needed a second coat. So this is pure five. And as you can see, this one applied like butter, like butter. And it is pigmented. This one is more pigmented than the others I've tried so far. Except the white. Those two. The PO5 and PO1 is very, very pigmented. I put the blue glove behind. And as you can see, barely any streaks. Barely anything. So normally, I will go in with two coats. I do. I will always. Even if the polish is pigmented or not. So that really isn't an issue for me because sometimes you might look at it and be like oh this is a pigmented color it only needs one coat but when we put it to the light you can literally see straight through the nails so you want to avoid that and always do two coats so this is the two coats on these five polishes that i tried out so far and as you can see by the second coat pigmented pigmented so i do give these a thumbs up on the colors and on the pigments so yeah PO4 and then PO5 is going to be last. Okay, so after adding two coats and the top coat, I realized that a piece of it had came off from it touching. And so, as you can see, there's a bit of white residue on my hand, and that's from the uncured gel that I found to be on the inside, mainly at the side. So, while I was touching the nail, it was kind of sticky. Um, not sticky, but squishy. Uh, you guys cannot see it, but I could have seen it. So, I decided to take a needle, and this is very dangerous. Please don't do this at home. 
but I probably opened the gel polish and it was fully cured so I guess it's because when it was touching it kind of created a thickness there that it didn't cure all the way through on that side I don't know but when I peel it it was pretty cured but it was peeling off way too easy so and these are how these ones look from zero two to zero five these ones were cured all the way I didn't have any issues with these ones feeling jelly or anything so moving on to pure six is this light blue sky blue color and it's very pretty it's like a very light blue I know I said that then it's like <laughs> so as you can see this is going on very much buttery as all the rest and so I would highly recommend these um, gel polishes if you are someone who doesn't mind having to apply two coats so this is pure seven And for me, as I said before, I always apply two coats. So these are actually the most pigmented gel polishes that I have tried before. And this is Pure 8. So this is kind of like a pinkish, brownish nude color. Uh, more brown than pink though. But I think it have like an undertone of red or something. <laughs> That's kind of giving off pink vibes to me. But as I was saying, I have tried other gel polishes before I have tried Mia Secret and I have tried Mifa gel polishes which is another Amazon brand so here is P10 this is a sienna type color matter of fact this is more like a a milky orange I always said this is this color is more milky orange color um so I have tried Mia Secret and I have tried Mifa um, if I don't really like those, I wouldn't recommend those. Those chip really, really easy. So here I am applying the second coat to all of them. So as I was saying with the Mifa gel polishes, um, I think they kind of, some of them wrinkle easily. The black and the white I find to be the ones that wrinkle very easily. And also chip the most. The lighter colors in the Mifa gel polishes that I had chip a lot. So I would really recommend those ones. And my use those was the old Mifa gel polishes. I am not sure how the new ones um, apply. So yeah, this is why I buy the Airbrush gel polishes. And I would not recommend Mia Secret at all either. Because with the Mia Secret, um, it's not pigmented at all. It wrinkles easily and it does, it does not cure properly. I find that to be my, my issue with the Mia Secret products. Like, the other gel polishes that I've used, I've never had a problem, but with Mia Secret, Mia Secret. Okay, one thing is this color, I did not film me doing the first coat. I like I forgot to show you guys. But as I was saying, the Mia Secret one does not cure fully, even though you put on very thin layers. And it's, it's very problematic. So I would not recommend Mia Secret at all to anyone. So, yeah. So these are the kind the best gel polishes I've tried. These aren't sticky. The, the residue doesn't come off, so you don't have to worry about the top coat. So this is all of the nails after I put the top coat on them. So moving on to P11. This is a lime color. This is more of a jelly color. I find it to be more jelly-like instead of opaque. To me, all the rest of the gel polish seems to have like a white background, if that makes sense. Like a white a white base to keep it more pigmented but that one doesn't this is another green lime green color this one is more pigmented and this one is P12 this one is very pigmented as well P13. This one is a nice bright pink color. This one is very beautiful. Next is P14, and this is on the camera. I actually look similar, but I believe the other one that I tried before was kind of a more orangish 
pink well this one is more on the cooler side not warmer if i make sense so guys we'll see them side by side so this is be 14 as i said and this one went on super pigmented um as you guys can see so i give you guys a thumbs up i give this one a thumbs up this one was super pigmented even the blue glove underneath you cannot even tell so this one is more like a burnt sienna color So with these gel polishes, I believe they give you a good variety of colors for everyone. They have a bit of nude, they have a bit of bright, and I think that they are wonderful. I think the selection is great. And also, i show you guys how they look in the lamp. As you can see, the green one, which is the second green one I showed you, is glowing so pretty. So this is the first green one, and I will be adding a second coat to all of them. So it looks pretty pigmented because of the white background. But when I put my glove behind it, you can kind of see it's more like a jelly, jelly consistency. This is the second green. This is the one that's more pigmented and was shining bright and beautiful <laughs> in the light. So this is the second coat. And after the second coat, you know, pigmented as usual. So I realized there is a consistency in these gel polishes um except for the green one that one was kind of different but the consistency in all of these are pretty much the same so this is a second pig one that i told you guys was pigmented i barely add any i barely add a second coat to it and it was super pigmented um so this is the fourth one which is i believe this one is p15 this is the burnt sienna color that i was telling you guys about and so put that in the lamp so i was showing you guys that this one appeared kind of different to me after i cured it it was more like it oxidized a little bit and the color did change you guys can see the difference is a visible difference so here are the two pinks side by side you can see one is more hot one is more cooler and yeah these are very beautiful after i add the top coat on them <clears throat> they look so beautiful so shiny i just can't wait to use these on actual nail design so this one is a orange color um i don't think it's a true orange i think i got a hint of like a brown that kind of make it like a burnt a slightly burnt orange <laughs> if that makes sense so this is the first coat this is p17 this one is more of a reddish orange And this one was super pigmented as well. I believe you could probably do one coat if you guys want one coat. So you guys see I did, did the thumbs up for that one. This is P18. This is nowhere moving into the glitters. P18 to 20 is all the glitter shades. Um, so this one is more shimmer than glitter. And you guys can already see the shimmer as yet. I just think it's the camera. But in person, I, it was shiny really beautiful so as you can see this is it for the blue glove underneath you can see the shimmers in it now this is p19 this is a red glitter and it have chunks of chunky glitter <laughs> guys i don't know how to explain it but you guys can see it have some fun glitters and some chunky glitters in it so I just take my time with this one and make sure that the glitters are placed to make the polish look decent so as you can see it's very pretty this is p20 so all the reviews on this abrid gel polishes and all the pictures i saw i was not expecting hollow but it is hollow and it is so beautiful ah that's how i was like a so glitter so this one when i saw the pictures and the videos i was least excited for it so I wanted to share my Mifa gel polishes with you guys because I didn't really see much on YouTube about them. If I did, you know, the video was kind of like, I really can't tell. Or, you know, the person was just giving their opinion on it and not really showing the swatches it's themselves. So I wanted to show you guys one swatch. I wanted to show you guys the swatches individually, the colors, the names. Well, the numbers and show you guys how they apply, how they work, and that was just it. 
So these ones was touching and as you can see the blue just ripped off because they cured well touching but <clears throat> I just fixed that up and put some coat on them. So I wanted to provide you guys with the um the video of the Airbrick gel polishes because this these gel polishes is worth the money. Like they're pretty cheap, they're very cheap. Um, they were like twenty five dollars for the twenty colors, plus the four two base and two top matte and glossy, and also. I did not have to pay that because we are in Barbados. I, I am in Barbados. So the price to get things here is way more. So I roughly had to spend 175 Barbadian dollars on this kit. I bought it through someone on Instagram. So she bring it in for me and I obviously paid her for it. So just so you guys know, I did not pay the 25. I paid way over that. Just an FYI. So you guys can see I have a little ripple in this orange. I probably laid it a bit too thick here. So I wanted you guys to see the top coat. As you can see, the top coat just made that ripple disappear. Like it is non-existent. Non-existent. And if that doesn't scream wonderful and quality and something special to you, then I'm crazy because that just disappeared. So I'm just showing you guys the top coat process on all the nails. And there were no um, pigment left over on the brush. So it wasn't getting transferred back into my top coat. Because let me tell you, Nail Secret Products does that a lot. A lot. <laughs> So this is a non-wipe top coat, so you don't have to wipe the sticky layer. I don't believe there's a sticky layer on the gel polishes as well, uh, from what I can remember. But yeah, just so you guys can know. So these gel polishes get a big old thumbs up from me. I will recommend them to anybody that knows starting or any professional that looking for a good variety of gel polish colors. So back to this nail here. <laughs> So you guys can see it was peeling a little bit too easy. So in my head, that does not scream quality. That seems cheap. It screams it's going to come off easily. So I wanted to try putting the base coat on the nail to see if maybe that was the issue. So this is the first coat here. After applying the base coat, and this is the second coat. And then... Because why not? I added the top coat. Cured it for 60 seconds. Back in with my needle and I poke it. You, you, you can see it was kind of hard to get into at first. You guys can see. So I finally get a little piece lifting up. And I kind of pry it open with the needle. And try to lift it up. So obviously you guys can see I get it lift up. That will happen with any gel polish, so that doesn't necessarily mean that it is that it wouldn't last. So I kind of poke at it, and as you can see, it was not moving like it was not moving. So that means that is it wasn't the fact that I didn't. It was the fact that I didn't put on base coat. So because it was kind of hard to move. So anyways, if you guys like this video, let me know if you love it. If you want to see more reviews. If you want to see more reviews, let me know in the comments below. Give this a thumbs up. If you did try this product, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you are going to purchase this product, let me know in the comments below also. And these are all the colors together. Very, very pretty. From P01 to P20, we have all the colors here. Very beautiful colors and yeah that's it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also leave me a comment as I said if you guys are watching this video to this point leave me a comment saying tell me flowers if you see this just comment flowers under your comment just so I know you guys made it to this point and yeah bye